Welcome to the Allen Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Allen Berry Labukan from AllenBerryReports.com. Uh, today we have a new installment of our In the News segment uh, where we talk about uh, resource companies with uh, recent developments. Before we get started, I always like to start with uh, sending out some thank yous. Uh, first of all, um, YouTube and uh, .com and Ustream dot tv they're uh, really important to what we do here uh, we use them to um, record broadcast our shows and uh, that's what helps us to bring the shows to you so uh, we want to send the folks over there at youtube and ustream uh, some thank yous they have wonderful websites uh, if you're interested in doing online shows great source to uh, to go to uh, in addition, we want to say thank you to our uh, banner sponsors. If you notice to the left and right of me here, if you're watching our um, our show on uh, on our website, uh, you'll see some banners down the left and right hand side. Uh, those companies are uh, kind enough and uh, help us to be able to bring these sh shows to you. And uh, if you click on their banners, it'll take you to their websites where you can go and do some homework, your own homework on those companies and uh, most importantly we want to send some thank yous out to our viewers if uh, if you guys uh, weren't coming to watch the shows you wouldn't have much reason to do the show so uh, thank you very much for joining us um, on today's show we have four companies to talk about uh, these companies have a really good mix of projects including diamonds copper and gold um, we're going to be doing a two-parter today um, and if you're watching this show on our website after the first part is over with um, the the second one will start playing right away uh, if you're watching on our YouTube channel uh, you'll you would look for part one and part two and uh, in part one we'll uh, talk about Exeter Resource Corp and Peregrine Diamonds and then in part two we'll talk about uh, Sand Gold Corp and International Tower Hill Mines so, well, uh, now we've got a lot to talk about, so we'll, uh, we'll get right to it. Our first company today uh, is Exeter Resource Corp. Uh, get the disclosure out of the way. We're not shareholders of the company. They are a banner sponsor on our website. Again, you can uh, look to the side of me there and find their banner where you can click on and go to their, um, their uh, website to do your own homework. Uh, they're also a featured company in our Allen Bear Reports email newsletter. Um, we started coverage of them on March the 31st, 2009. That was our 23rd edition. And again, if you look above me here, uh, you'll see a report section. In that report section is where you can find that 23rd edition. Um, also, we've had them on several of our past uh, shows uh, here on, on our, um, <clears throat> excuse me, on our Ustream channel <clears throat> on July the 22nd. Uh, we talked about Exeter, and then on our YouTube channel on April the 21st. Um, the links to those two uh, websites are uh, up above me there, and uh, you just click on those, and then you would look for those dates. Um, the website for Exeter, I'm just going to pull it up here while we're chatting about them. Um, Exeter's website is exeterresource.com. That's E-X-E-T-E-R-R-E-S. O U R C E dot com, and uh, they've had a couple news releases out uh, in in the last little while. Um, one was on uh, um, October the fourth. In that October the fourth um, uh, press release, they uh, I'm just going to pull that up. You go to their company news and then news for 2010. On the uh, October fourth news release, they announced a 50 million dollar uh, bought deal financing. Um, this is a very substantial amount of money for uh, for an exploration company, um, and uh, this helps them to continue to aggressively uh, advance their Caspiche project. So we're really happy to hear about that. And then on uh, September the nineteenth. Oh, sorry, I think I got the dates wrong there. I, um, uh, oh, sorry, that was September the 13th. They had a press release out. And I'm just uh, pulling it up here while we're chatting. Uh, trying to pull it up. Oh, read more. <laughs> you got to click that read more button. Uh, just checking here something, uh, how we're doing for time. We're in good shape. Good. Okay, so on, um, on this... Um, 
On this uh, press release the, uh, for September the 13th, uh, the headline is uh, Exeter, Exeter Upgrades Caspiche Mineral Resource 2 Measured and Indicated 21.3 million ounces of gold plus 5.3 billion pounds of copper. Uh, in the inferred, they had 5.1 million ounces of gold and 1.4 billion pounds of copper. So as you can tell there, if you sort of do the math uh, between their all their various different categories, they're looking at a little over 26 million ounces of gold and uh, nearing uh, six, almost seven billion pounds of copper. It's a very substantial resource. And um, they also noted in the news release that uh, the measured and indicated mineral resource estimate has increased in tonnage by 68% and in contained metals by 50%. 80% of the total resource now falls into the measured or indicated categories. Uh, each time you do more coarse drilling on a, on a project, you can up those uh, categories of, and that increases the confidence about what the resource is in the ground. Um, in the press release, they also had all the details about the, res uh, the new resource calculation. Uh, they have some uh, extensive quotes in there from um, uh, some of the key people that will help you get an idea of what, what all this uh, means. So, um, again, they had a lot of news. They've had a lot of, or they had a couple news releases out there that are really fundamentally important. Um, some of the reasons that we follow the company is that um, uh, Exeter has a, uh, one of the world's largest undeveloped uh, uh, resources of uh, gold and copper uh, that's yet to be developed into a mine. Um, it's in a. What also adds to the uh, to the to this project is that it's in a mining friendly jurisdiction, uh, and uh, they're they're they've been able to raise a lot of money to develop this project. When you got big projects, costs a big chunk of money to develop to work on them, and they've been able to do that and keep their share price issuance down uh, to a to a very modest level and so uh, they, they're really uh, firing on all cylinders now they're coming into their uh, work season so they can get a whole bunch more work so we're expecting a lot of news out of the company in the coming months so uh, again that's some of the reasons that we like the company for you to do your own homework again you would just go to exeterresource.com and uh, that's a great place to start your uh, research on the company so that's a wrap on our chat regarding um, Exeter uh, our second company today uh, I'm just uh, checking on our time we're doing really good for time today on our second company is Peregrine Diamonds um, on the disclosure we are shareholders of the company they're a featured company in our, in our email newsletter uh, we started coverage of them on December the 18th, 2008. That was our 21st edition. Again, if you look above me there, you'll see the report section, and that's where you can find that uh, 21st edition. In addition, also, before we had two reports, one was covering Canadian diamond exploration, and the other one was for uh, metals and uh, uh, explore, uh, exploration and development companies. We kind of merged those two together, but we did have a fair amount of coverage of di um, uh, Peregrine Diamonds in our diamond report, so you can uh, find those uh, in those reports section as well. Uh, past shows, we've had them on our Ustream channel on the September 9th and the August the 12th and the July 26th shows and then on our YouTube sh uh, show we also we had them on our May 19th show so if you uh, if you look above me there um, you'll see some uh, uh, icons for uh, our YouTube channel and our Ustream channel just click on those and you can find those dates and uh, when we talked about Peregrine Diamonds so um, to, uh, their website, I just got that up here. It's uh, pdiam.com. And um, what we're looking for here is um, the, uh, they had uh, three news releases out of late. And uh, I'm just going to go to their news section. Uh, yeah, if you look, they have a tab there called news. Uh, click on the news section, and we're looking for three press releases. We'll start with the September 16th press release. And um, 
just going to get that up here. The headline from that news release was Peregrine discovers 12 more Kimberlites at Chidliac, bringing total to date to 50. Uh, CH31 now estimated at more than 5 hectares in size. Uh, Kimberlites uh, is the host rock for uh, diamond deposits. And uh, so uh, they've found a lot on their uh, Chidliac project up there. And uh, this press release on September the 16th, they had a lot of really good details about the project, how much, how many Kimberlites they've found, how many Kimberlites they've found this year, um, sort of. Uh, and then they have um, a really good quote in there uh, from uh, Eric Friedland, who's Peregrine's uh, CEO. And uh, the... I'm just checking my time here. We're doing pretty good. So um, they uh, they they have a, a, a plan map there where you can um, uh, see what they've done so far uh, on the Chidliac. We've got a bit of news, so I'm not going to go into that quote from there, but we'll get into one of the later quotes in the other press releases. Um, also, so the next news release, press release we're looking for is the September 23rd uh, sh um, release. And in that press release, the headline headline from the new press is uh, Peregrine announces a coarse diamond size distribution for the CH28 Kimberlite at Chidliac, pipe size estimated at two hectares. Uh, they again they have a lot of details about the uh, the project in that uh, press release. Um, one of the most important things is that they have a um, a graph there a table there which shows the uh, diamond counts uh, from different uh, sieve sizes. Um, this is really helpful because um, when, a, when you're looking at uh, uh, trying to estimate what the diamond um, grade is going to look like, diamond distribution curves are very helpful in giving you a, you know, a pretty good estimate of what's going to happen there. And uh, so they've got a, a really good uh, uh, distribution curve on this CH28 uh, Kimberlite. Uh, in there, they also have a quote from their president, uh, Brooke Clements, and uh, you know they do. A, he does a great job at sort of giving you an idea of what's the overall big picture is on the project. Then they've got some more details there uh, in that press release. Uh, the next press release we're looking for was uh, actually just out earlier today. Um, and they in that uh, that press release the headline is Peregrine announces Q1 and Q2 Kimberlites at 100% owned Killack um, uh, sorry Killack project are diamondiferous. Um, where this sort of stands with things is they've got uh, two areas that they're really excited about up there. One is their uh, main claim and then they've got a side claim that they own 100% of which is called the Killack claim. They found a couple Kimberlites out there. They have uh, some encouraging results from the diamond um, testing of those Kimberlites. Uh, they've got a lot of details there in the press release and there's also a quote from Eric Friedland again he's the CEO of Peregrine and he stated and I quote the discovery of two diamondiferous Kimberlites at Killack in the second year of exploration on the project is remarkable particularly since they were uh, made without the benefit of drilling. Our team is looking forward to advancing exploration on this exciting project in 2011, utilizing the results from the 2010 sampling program. We are confident that more diamondiferous kimberlites will be discovered at Killack. So, uh, you know, they've, they've been putting out a lot of news. Uh, they got a bunch more to come out before the, um, uh, before the end of the year. Some of the reasons we like the company is um, they've been got a really strong management team. They've got a great project up there in Baffin Island. They've been finding a lot of Kimberlites on, those, uh, those, um, uh, on the Baffin Island project. Uh, it, and the, uh, the, the, result, the, pr the early results from the uh, testing of those Kimberlites for diamonds are very encouraging as well. Very exciting results. And, um, you know, they got a great partner in BHP. They got lots of money, doing lots of work. They're having lots of news out. Really great company. Uh, we like them a lot. Again, um, their website is pdiam.com. Have a look at their website for you to do your own homework. So that's a wrap on our chat regarding uh, Peregrine and a wrap on our first part of this show today.